Welcome to LARP Academia, and today we are going to talk about the Archer class in Amp Guard and what you get for level 3. Now you get two more specialty arrows, just like what you got at level 1. This means that you could have four specialty arrows, or if you have looked the part, five specialty arrows. So before, you could have two arrows that were the same, but now you could have three. I don't have a third poison, but you get the idea. You could have three poison arrows and two of a different type of arrow. You could make it even split up more. You could have two poison arrows, two destruction arrows, and a pinning arrow. But always remember, if you have looked the part, the max you can have of any one arrow is three. If you do not have looked the part, the max you can have of any one specialty arrow is two and then you can distribute the rest as you see fit for the two other arrow types. Now, my question to you is, what do you think each arrow is best for? Obviously, a destruction arrow is really good for destroying shields, but how likely are you to get around a shield? How likely are you to make a destruction arrow effective and destroy armor that's three points or higher? Has that happened to you? Do you think you could happen? My challenge to you is to figure out if a destruction arrow has more viable purposes than just a shield. What about a poison arrow? Have you ever tried to bounce a poison arrow from person to person, play ping pong essentially? It's extremely fun when it happens, but if you can figure out how to make the angles work on a poison arrow, or if you can figure out how to bounce an arrow up and hit someone in the leg when they have armor so that they just die right away, well, I want to know from you if you think that's a viable option and if you can pull any of these shots off. Is a poison arrow good enough to do that? What about a pinning arrow? A pinning arrow is literally just stopping someone, right? Is it best to use on a person who has a shield so you'll automatically hit? Or is it better to hit on someone who's more wily and relies on two weapon fighting or two different swords? Is it better to use on a caster? Why or why not? When do you think a pinning arrow would actually be the most useful and what are some cool tricks that you could have to your arrows? i like for you to think on these things and try to figure out what is the best purpose of each arrow and how to make them useful beyond the obvious purposes. Look at your field and figure out your own trick ways to use arrows. I look forward to see what you guys try in the comments below. Until next time, be tricky and try to figure out how to make the best use of each of these specialty arrows.